Ray. Ray. That totally happened for Wait. the for the first time. Yay! Yay! We fixed it. Okay. Do you do you, do you feel better yes. about yourself? I, I actually feel really and happy. And your right life now. choices. So happy is we time went, I've spent with you. I've never had so much fun. We uh we went we went back and righted all the wrongs. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore. And by wrongs I meant wrong. My heart was heavy. Hey guys, it's Chill Pill. And this is Rider Tanner. <laughs> and it's late. We're tired, but you know what? What? We're gonna correct our mistakes. <laughs> And have more perfect dates. Okay, let's see what happens this time now that we've actually said yes. You mean the first time. I mean, yeah, none of that happened before. None of that. All of that was a joke. You dreamed it. <laughs> Just like Dr. Feelgoo dreamed all the crazy ass whatever shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't had so much fun, felt so free, or been so happy at as the time I've spent with you. I don't think I'd care to be without you either. You have my Aww, heart. Yay! I'm so excited. To my surprise, McMurphy looks visibly relieved. <laughs> well, Car, I look forward to many more adventures with you. Aww. Yay! Well, that's it. And we get a trophy. Yes. We got Relationship it. Relationship goals. Yay! Let's finish out the research. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yes, I am ready. I'm ready. We have McMurphy in our hearts, in our souls. We can do this field work. We are, we are one with the Murph. <laughs> one with the Murph. <clears throat> Professor Popper told me to be ready early and dress for hiking. As we're doing field work this morning, I'm not sure that I have anything that would pass for hiking gear, to be honest. Some sturdy shoes would be good. Oh well, lab coat and trainers it is then, as usual. A message from Professor lights up on my catalog. Set to go. I'm waiting outside my tent. He sends me a oh. dick pic. <laughs> ah, Dr. Feelgoo, did you see my penis yet? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Professor, may I ask where we're going? Somewhere I think you'll find very interesting. My anus. Yeah. It's called my butt. Everyone's <laughs> welcome. The professor. Oh. Oh, I thought that Here, was your take comment. Take this Sorry. sack. <laughs> It's very sack. full, but surprisingly light. <laughs> Just like my ball sack. Popper has set off at a brisk pace, calling back to me over his shoulder. You're too slow! This way! <laughs> I run to catch him. After some serious walking with me struggling to keep up, the professor stops abruptly and listens. Do you hear that? No. No! Oh, I guess so. <laughs> There's a distant sound of bubbling water. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, it's, um, it's bubbling. We're almost there! Secretly, I'm relieved, as I don't think I can hang out with this crazy old man for much longer. <laughs> Just a little climbing. That sounded like McMurphy I drunk. Know. <laughs> I'm like losing it, man. Yeah. Climbing. I hide my dismay, but not very well. <laughs> Where does he get his energy from? It's just at the top there. It's not as difficult to climb as it looks. We are in front <laughs> of an almost vertical rock face. Yeah, where does this old fucking man get all his energy where we as like a young, probably mid-twenties dude are like, oh my god, I'm done. David Letterman, he, he gets it from his interns. You've seen all the headlines. <laughs> he eats them. He eats them. <laughs> Mmm, David fed. <laughs> fed a man. Uh, just copy me! Be a copycat, if you will. Haha, <laughs> it's a joke. He clambers up expertly. You've got good jokes. I know. Not! Shit. Not. Uh, pulling the 90s not joke on me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I managed to find a spot that will support my foot and start the climb. I make little progress before slipping and falling flat on my bum. <laughs> he called it a bum. It's your ass. 
<laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of uh, an old SNL bit with uh, Mike Myers. His okay. name His name was Simon, and he would sit in a tub, and he would have like celebrity guests in the tub with him. <laughs> but the uh, the best part was um, Danny DeVito joined him in the oh. tub at one point. <laughs> And uh, one of his one of his things uh, is like the theme song is oh you know my name is Simon and I like to make drawings <laughs> and uh, he'll like lean out of the tub to uh, to grab his drawing and whenever he gets up he's like were you looking at my bum and then Danny DeVito does it and he picks up his drawing and he just says in a Danny DeVito esque voice were you looking at my ass. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god, I love that bit. That's probably one of the best ones. Alright. <clears throat> I try again. Time to take it slow. Oh. Yeah, that I works. read that wrong. Again okay. I fall. What happened to the benefits of catification the others keep going on about? <laughs> the professor noticed I have trouble and holds a hand out for me. I managed to climb up just enough to take hold of him. And he lifts me the rest of the way. His strength is impressive. I am wet. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan of climbing, <laughs> eh? Can't say I've done much of it, Professor. Prof. Come along then. I can get you there sexually. You he just like hold on to his back like piggyback style and he just climbs up. <laughs> he climbs up like climbs Yoda up. style. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Strong with the force, young <laughs> popper is. He pretty much pulls me all the way to the top and then leads me to the entrance of a small cave. His small cave. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. The, like sound a of, the sound of running water is very loud now. I instantly see why. A natural spring has cut its way through the rock and created a beautiful cascade of sparkling clear water. It looks delicious. Shame I have to pee in it. I kneel down without thinking and begin to drink. It tastes amazing. Then I realize Popper's peeing into it upstream. <laughs> That's why he's looking at me with suspicion. And then I take another drink. <laughs> As I come mm, up for breath, delicious. I see the professor looking at me with suspicion. <laughs> why are you drinking my urine so fervently? <laughs> you should know better. It is never wise under any circumstance to ingest something that is unproven. But here on this island, it would be prudent to exercise more caution than usual. Basically, you just drink Giardia and you're going to have, like, wicked diarrhea. I don't know what Giardia is. Oh my god, put up a picture of Giardia. It's so cool because it's got, like, two nuclei and it looks like eyes. But it causes severe diarrhea. So it's like a bacteria or something? It's uh, it's actually a protozoa, I believe. It's it's not a bacteria. A creepy it's... crawly. Amoeba? No, amoeba is like a type of what I'm thinking of, but I can't remember it. But anyways, it uh, it causes giardiasis, and that's why you don't drink uh water that isn't purified. Like you don't drink spring water and stuff because. It that lives, could be in there. It lives in there, and then you'll get uh, severe diarrhea from And then diarrhea. you'll drink more of the water because you're dehydrated. And then you've got to <laughs> take a fun regimen of metronidazole and get rid of it. Hooray! Yay! I feel embarrassed at my lack of consideration. Yes, of course, sir. I wasn't thinking. I felt so thirsty. I look so good. I do understand it. Does look good. <laughs> mm. Peace some more. Many have made the same error. Fortunately for you, this isn't the cyanide stream of the island. <laughs> <clears throat> it's good, don't you think? My body feels suddenly re energized. I feel like I could climb any wall. Yay! It's incredible. I feel fantastic. What's in it? Uh, Water? PCP. We don't know. That's why we're here. We're about here. to start tripping balls. Ooh, we need some samples. We've been studying this water for months now, and we still don't know very much about it. Check your bag. I open my bag. It's full to the brim with empty plastic bottles and condoms. <laughs> what is this, Professor? We don't need to fill all of these with water. Hmm. Yeah, you fill the condoms with water and then shove them in my ass. Hmm. Yes, water. <laughs> Not semen. Yeah. We're good. Going to need as much as we can carry. I do as he says. By the time all the bottles are full, my bag is f back in my bag. <laughs> it weighs a tone. What? 
<laughs> but I feel like I can lift anything. The effect of the water is powerful. Blah, blah, blah. The professor has also packed his own rucksack with bottles. Dear Lord, how much do we need? This should do us for now. Let's get these back. Oh, you know for a fact that they're not studying it. This is the stuff that they need to drink to, like, get their catification powers. Like, I, I guess. I guarantee you, everybody on the island, like drank from this stream and turned into cats or got some sort of cat-like abilities which sped up the catification process or something. Or maybe this keeps them from being catified? Or maybe. Something like that. The stream obviously isn't like, oh, we're gonna study it and lol, do research papers yeah, on it. Yeah, that's why they need so many fucking bottles of it. They, they, they have a plan. There's no way that they don't. As we make our way down the rock face and back to camp, I have no problem keeping up with the breath, presser. I feel <laughs> I could run all the way. That's why he has so much energy and strength He's, he's drinking this shit every day. You can day. tell how strong he is by how gray his hair gets and how wide his tooth gap gets. <laughs> However, as we get closer to home, I start to feel the effect wear off. My bags become unbearably heavy. The final lamp into campus torture, I need to rest. Like when the gap goes from like Mike Tyson to David Letterman, you know he's like <laughs> Super Saiyan Popper. <laughs> I didn't know that was a term of measurement, but it, it makes sense. Tooth gaps. I've come to the forest to gather my thoughts. This morning I noticed another change in my appearance. Up until now, it, it's been easy to cover up my transition. I just had to keep on top of removing excess hair. We haven't heard about this at all until now. Yes. After we finished the first chapter. I mean, this is the first time. <laughs> Even the stub of a tail Whoa. that appeared a few days ago hasn't been a problem. <laughs> Who'd see it? Wow, it's like he's going through puberty for the first time. <laughs> There's hair where there wasn't hair before, and I'm growing <laughs> things that look bigger than normal. No, yeah, it's it reminds me of um, Shallow Hal, or is that what it's called again? Uh, the one with like Jack Black. Yeah. Yeah. And his friend literally has a little tail, and I'm just imagining the oh clip where he's God. like wagging it. <laughs> Can you find a gif of him wagging his tail? Good lord. You believe me now? Oh man, it really does wag. <laughs> hey! You go, George Costanza. <laughs> Even the sub of tail that appeared a few days ago hasn't been a problem. Who'd see it? I said that part. But this new development is definitely a turning point. How am I gonna explain the fact that my uh -oh. my pupils have turned into vertical slits? <laughs> oh. I can't risk anyone seeing me like this, so He's I'm turning gonna into Voldemort. hide out for a while, see what happens. Uh oh, Dr. Feelgoo is a cat now. <gasps> Yay! It's a beautiful night, and McMurphy and I are lying on the sand by the old shipwrecks, relaxed in a way that only cats can be. <laughs> but I remember back to all the anxiety and stress I used to live with. The endless hours fretting over antidote research, it makes my first stand up. I thought our lives <laughs> depended upon it. It was my love for Mick Murphy that finally got me to see sense. Why was I so desperate to make him the same as me? Hadn't I fallen for him the same way he was? So I decided to turn it on its head and become like him. Whoa, look at oh his hair! Oh my god! <laughs> That's us? I lose track after 30. Oh my oh god, my we've got Lord, Look at chops. those sideburns <laughs> on that fucking cat. That's like, uh, uh, Jermaine from the, uh, Flight of the Concorns yeah, level of mutton, mutton chops. chops. Jermaine. We're lying out under the stars. I can't help smiling to myself when I remember how could I used to think it was <laughs> at night. Mac used to rib me for whining. Now here I am, as snug as can be, counting the stars with cat I love more than anything else in the world. Aww. You see, the trouble is, Kara, you're still thinking like a scientist. What do you- Oh my god, he's so ugly. <laughs> what do is. you mean? We were handsome as a human, and now- bull. So, when you count the stars, you begin at one and assume you're going to keep chanting numbers until you've quantified the whole entire galaxy. I don't think that's possible. He laughs until his eyes twinkle with moisture. Oh, is he crying? We're making him wet. <laughs> oh yeah, go on then, Murph the Wise. Enlighten me on a better way of counting. Why am I so ugly? <laughs> so if you ask me how many stars there are, I take an overall squint to the sky, judge how cloudy or clear it is, and decide if there's any, uh, if there's enough light to hunt. Not too much is the right amount for that, by the way. Or too little light for your snooze. 
<laughs> Best when it's bright. <laughs> Is or that how you snooze? just enough to steal a kiss from your sweetheart. Aww. And judging by the sky tonight... We can make <gasps> out! He nuzzles into my fur, and I'm the happiest cat in the universe. Aww. It's so cute. <gasps> Lame! That is so much better than the other alternative. Yeah. <laughs> Not to spoil things, but you die. Yeah, you, you get shipped back off towards the homeland, quote unquote, and they literally just like take you out on the boat. Yeah, Dad! <laughs> this one's spoiled. Spoiled? I don't understand what's happening, but I sense it's not good. Uh-oh. Okay, lad. You go steer the boat. Leave this to me. Zip. <laughs> and suddenly it's just me and Bob and he's bearing down on me. Oh man. It ain't personal, you understand. But we have to ensure things are contained. Uh-oh. Uh, oh god. Oh shit. Then I see what looks like a gun in his hand. Holy shit. Okay. This is getting serious. Ah. Uh. You got to go all feline on his ass. Holy fuck! Uh. What? No! Oh my god! No! No! I, I can't handle this right now! I'm so sad! This is the most disappointing and I can't believe it! I feel so betrayed! Can we just go back in time and undo it all? Uh, I am so glad we went through and redid this. Alright, we gotta... <laughs> I think we should call it there it before we, uh, before we, ooh! Pick, we get to choose a new one. Pick new people. We'll choose a new one next time. Oh my God, who are we going to pick? So if you've enjoyed this much gonna, better lovey-dovey ending of gonna, Perfect Date with McMurphy. Fucking cheekbones on that dude. That's his, like, his dimples. Look at the cheekbones. It's like a model. <laughs> it's dimples, weirdo. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give us a little thumbs up. Subscribe so you can see more Perfect Date. And, like we always say, sleep tight and don't let the bad endings bite. Because we fixed it. Yay! Hooray! I'm so much happier now. I was in a funk for like two weeks after we recorded that. I was okay, so sad. Okay, you guys don't <laughs> even know. We cut out... Like three episodes of yeah, Ratter being because we continued depressed. this and we started a new character in his just like monotone, depressed voice for three episodes. 